Hey guys, I am Psychic Mara. A popular DJ that goes by the nickname Slick Rick was found decapitated inside of his Tennessee home. I wanted to tap in real quick to see what happened and why it happened. I did shuffle some cards. This card flew out. And I want to read the energies from the card. Everything is allegedly. Energies are always real. Now, it's very important to know that this is not the rapper Slick Rick, who I like to call the ruler, okay? It's not him, but this is a popular DJ uh, that holds that nickname, Slick Rick, okay? Known by many loved by many um what happened why was he found decapitated inside of the comfort of his own home um a few other gruesome details allegedly uh his brother found him still uh holding on to his keys pants rolled down all the way to his ankles that suspect right there that bothers me a lot uh and uh, you heard the word decapitated, okay? Um, something definitely missing, okay? Um, very gruesome scene and very sad for his own loved one to have found him in that way and in that position. So what happened? This card came out. You guys let me know in the comment section what you pick up, what energies come through for you all from this card. But I will tell you what I'm picking up as a psychic. Someone put a hit out on, we're going to call him Rick, okay? DJ Rick. Someone put a hit out on him, allegedly. This is what I'm getting. And I feel like the person that put this hit out on Rick, used someone that was vulnerable, someone that may have been a druggie. Uh, he pretty much forced, threatened, and pushed uh, this druggie person to go through with this hit. In other words, if you don't do it, I'll come after you. I'll come after this person and that person. Uh, I know... I can pull up on you. I know where you are at all times. I know where your people live. Uh, kind of like that threat. Um, yeah. Someone pushed this druggie, who I also feel like is a good friend of Rick's, okay? Uh, this is someone that Rick, I feel, trusted. Someone that may have ran some errands for Rick in the past. Uh, someone that Rick has known for a very long time. I feel like... This bigger guy pushed D, uh, DJ Rick's druggy friend, okay? I feel like he has something to do with drugs and money. Pushed this friend to go through with this. You do it or else. Or else, okay? Um, and I feel like both Rick and his friend know this bigger person well. Uh, I'm picking up on a debt. Someone coming to collect a debt. Hey, man, do you have this money? You know, so-and-so is on my ass about it. It's been three, four, maybe six months or longer. I've been keeping you up. I've been putting words in for you to the, the big guy. I have been pretty much saving both of our behinds. And it's come to a point where the big guy is like, that's enough. One of you all better come up with my money. Come up with what you owe me. Um, I'm picking up on a tab. You know how you go into a store and maybe uh, a neighborhood store and the people know you and your family well. Uh, maybe you need something on credit, kind of like that. I'm picking up, uh, you know, put it on my tab. I'll get it in a couple of days or I'll pick it up next week. I, hey, I, I don't have it now, dude. I need gas and bus fare. Look out for me. I got you. Okay. Put your little nickname on a little receipt tab. Something like that comes up. Something like credit for Rick himself. I feel like 
there was something that tallied up to a really large amount. Um, all, all tabs, all credit. And he's been getting away with it for a while. I mean, he's, I feel like Rick's word has always been good. Rick has always had a pretty good word. In other words, hey man, I give you my word. My word is bond. Add it to my credit. I know I'm at like two, three grand. This is an example, guys. Two, three grand. I got you. I need more time. Um, add it to, to my tab. And it's accumulated. I feel like over the years, this is a huge debt that uh, needed to be paid, unfortunately. And I feel like Mr. Rick did not have the money. I just feel like he did not have it. And that middleman who I feel is Rick's friend who may be a user, okay? Allegedly, he was used. He was used to do, hey, it's your friend. You connected us. Things were going right at first. In the beginning, everything was good. Um, But there's a lot of time that passed. And bro, we want our, our money. Well, we've given like a long time to get that money paid, to get this debt paid. Okay. And I feel like there's been several attempts to collect this debt from Mr. Rick. I'm even seeing in my, oh, here it is. Huh. I even see in my third eye that he was approached more than once, twice, three times. Like he was like someone came out the Woolworth, out the cut, and just walked up on Rick, showed up at his door. There's been threats. Now, this is, you know, I'm mentioning things that we don't know about, okay? They're hidden, but I can see them. Um, he's definitely been threatened by someone, uh, someone just popping up randomly at his home for this bigger person. Again, all to collect a debt. He's argued with a few different people. It seems like these are people in a drug game, okay? Um, people that he knows, people that he could have befriended. Again, in the beginning, everything was good. But that tab got too big, too high. And it got so big and so high that Mr. Rick could not get it down. Um, I feel like he's tried to, you know, borrow money from other people, could be friends or family. Um, he's tried to take out loans, IOUs, and unfortunately, everything and everyone has failed him. And they may have been a little hard on him with a little tough love, like, hey, Rick, you have to get yourself out of this. You get yourself out of this situation because you put yourself in it. We can't help you. Um, and it's so sad because, yeah, again, no facts allegedly, but this is what I pick up. This has something to do with that drug game, debt, money, lots and lots of money that added up. Needed to be paid over a period of time. People, you know, trying to come and collect from Mr. Rick and, and they were very angry with him. Uh, I don't condone any violence. There's always a way to work things out. Uh, if you need more time. Well, that's just me. Well, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Don't tell me. It's a whole different game out there in the streets. I can hear you now. I get it. But I don't know. If you need more time, you need to let me know. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, so, but people don't play. Um, and oh, I'm so sorry this happened to him. Somebody was really, really angry. Um, I feel like that very last person that, that walked up on Rick and confronted him, it was a confrontation. And uh, I think the person came back, okay? They knew how to get in there. They knew what he would come and, and go, um, leave and come home. They knew his whole entire routine. And yeah, I do see female energy. Okay, so there could have been a female uh, driving what I would like to call the getaway car. 
Um, yeah, so there's definitely a female involved. She could have just been a driver, whether she knew what was happening or not. She was inside of a black vehicle. I do see a dark uh, shaded window, you know, colored window, tinted window uh, vehicle, specifically. Um, yeah, it's a black vehicle. That's all I have. I see pulling away from this scene. It's definitely someone he knows. Mm -hmm. But somebody else talked this person he knows into going through with this murder. Um, and I feel like that person was threatened as well. Okay. You do it. You better do it or else. Okay. Uh, very sad. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Um, it was definitely a hit. So if you're wondering and trying to figure out, well, was it a hit? I can confirm, even though I can't prove it, I can confirm it was a hit out on him. Um, by someone, by his own friend, okay? By one of his good friends. Um, yeah. I do pick up a double life and this is really none of our business, but Mr. Rick may have been living a double life as well. Um, could have been uh, alcohol, drug problem and some other things I'm picking up. Um, hmm. I'm picking up a lot of traffic in and, in and out of his home. Oh, this is not good. I do see that somebody may have spotted the female. Now, this is something new coming in. Somebody may have spotted the female, seen the female. Yeah, because she was getting restless, hopeless, tired of waiting around in the car. And she may have gotten out like, what the hell? Hurry up like that. And this female smokes a lot of cigarettes. Rick may have smoked a lot of cigarettes. I see a bunch of cigarette butts everywhere in my vision. Something about cigarettes, cigarettes. It looks like they caught him when he just got home. Yeah, they caught him when he just got in. Uh, they were waiting for him. They knew he was coming. They got at him ASAP. Uh, in fact, what I see here, oh, well, I see it unfolding in my third eye. It looks like the person uh, was coming over uh, to talk to him. It looks like Rick, oh, Rick let this person in because he knew who he was and he thought it was going to be the same old shit. Like, you know, Rick is thinking, I know you're asking for the money. I don't have it yet. Blah, blah, blah. I just don't have it. And so Rick was expecting to hear that again, like they, they're buddies, they're, you know, they're friends. So they're going to go back and forth and argue, but it was something different this time. And yeah. Yeah. That's what I have, all allegedly my opinion. Thanks for listening. Justice for <sighs> Memphis DJ Slick Rick, who I'm calling DJ Rick. Every life counts, no matter if we have habits or debt. Um, everyone should be given a chance. Uh, I'm not trying to defend the people who did this. It was nasty and gruesome, not acceptable. But I, there is heavy energy of this person actually given given this Mr. Rick a chance. There's, there were several chances given to get this debt paid. Again, I feel like on Rick's part, it got too big, man. See, for, for millionaires and thousandaires, it's easy. It's easy money. Oh, dude, what, I owe you like 6,000, 20 grand? Blah, 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 blah. There you go, bro. Out my face, though. Get out my goddamn... <laughs> Um, it's nothing, you know, you let a, a drug tab go up, rich people, they can, you know, eh, they'll pay it off. Right. And unfortunately this accumulated, I'm telling you, and I, it looks like it's a couple of years, y'all. So, man. And it came to a point where, where this dealer dude is like, okay, no problem. Credit, credit, but they don't forget. They, <laughs> they're tallying this up, man. They're like, man, he's up to like 25 grand. Okay, we hit 30. Oh, yeah, he's going to have to pay up. And and so, yeah. And we may find out uh, maybe through neighbors 
that there has been uh, some altercations and arguments and uh, people popping up and trying to confront Rick. We may hear something like that, maybe some arguing, yelling in his home, because I do see that before this happened, leading up to what happened to Mr. DJ Rick, there was lots of confrontation, uh, lots of things going on, bumping and things into the door, lots of noises and things like that. Oh, man, this is deep. All right, that's it.